Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about another try hack me machine called Billing. So if you guys are ready to have some fun, please like, subscribe, and share, and let's get into it. Alrighty then, folks. So like I said, we're gonna be doing billing from Try Hack Me today. So what are some of the mistakes that can be costly for this machine, right? Let's just see what's up on this machine. I booted it up. We have the IP address at 10.201.98.231. Okay, so here we have gain a shell, find a way to escalate your permissions. Okay, brute forcing is out of scope for this room. All right, so that's good to know, right? We cannot brute force this machine. So let's just go ahead and copy this. I use Exegol, as folks know now. I'm gonna go ahead and just ping that IP address to make sure it's up and responsive. And I did do an Nmap scan already, so we can check out the results. We have port 22, which is SSH. We have port 80, HTTP, 3306, MySQL, and 5038, okay? So what we can try to do is browse out to the IP address. Let me go ahead and just type in Firefox, okay? And the reason why I can't use it on my local machine is because I'm running this in a container, right? We're running this inside of Exegol. So if I just put this IP address, it's gonna go ahead and open up this mail, uh, this website, which I have no idea what we're looking at. So if we come back to the results, the Nmap results, oh, I think I exit out. So we can see here that there, it's a call manager as well. So what I want to do is try to Google this really quick. Let's just open up our terminal. Let's just go ahead and Google that real quick and see what's up. So we see different login utilities and I did start this machine already, and then I just figured I'm just gonna go ahead and do a video on it. So, as you can see, my setup is different. I'm not in my normal location, but uh, yeah, so we can see different kinds of auxiliaries. This is with Rapid7. I don't think that is a good one though. And we can see exploit.db and so on and so forth. All right, so let's come back to the results. All right, so what we're gonna to try to do here is look up, there is a, whoops, I opened that in the wrong one. Let's open that up down here. Let me open up this here. All right, so let's come back here. And we have this unauthenticated remote code execution, right, from this billing application. So as we can see here, hoodie, Obviously, kudos to Hoodie if that's the man that I'm talking um, that I'm thinking of. So we have it right here. We can use this module, right, from Metasploit. So let's just try to give that a shot and let's just give it a give it a jingle, right? So let's just use. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Let's just come back to our command shell and just go ahead and type in msf console dash q for quiet mode and see what's up. We'll give this a second, let this boot up. And once this is booted up, we can go ahead and try to utilize this. All right, so let's go ahead and paste that here. Okay, and we can just do a couple show options and see what we got to do here. All right, so first thing I always like to do is put in my R host and my local host. So let's just go ahead and set our host. And my R host is going to be the try hack me IP. Okay, so let's come back over here. Let's copy this IP and come back to my terminal and paste that here. Show options again, and we're gonna make sure everything is set correctly. All right, so the next one is going to be local host so it knows where to come to. Okay, so let's go ahead and set my local host, set, set L host to ton zero. Right, so ton zero is going to be my my VPN IP from Try Hack Me. Okay, so let's do show options again, make sure everything is good. And the last thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and show the targets. Okay, we have 
couple different targets here. If we come back to our, our exploit here, we want to select the target, show, so the target ID, in my opinion, I would go ahead and select Unix command. So let's go ahead and set target, target one. Okay, so now that is set. So show targets, now we can see that it's set to target number one. Okay, so I think everything is set up correctly if this exploit is going to work. All right, so I think we should be good. So now let's double check. It's Unix command for the target. It's going to my L host, which is good. And then my R host is D. And now let's just type in exploit and pray for the gods, All right? Let's see if this exploit works. And if it does, we show looking, looking a little successful. So that's a good thing. All right, so let's, uh, whoops, let's give this, let's give this a, so we, we have a shell. So if I do ID, nothing, LS, nothing. All right, oh, there it goes. Okay, so it's a little slow. So let's just type in shell and get a shell. And we should be a lot better off with that. All right, there we go. All right, so let's do an LS here. Let's go ahead and CD to home, LS, and let's CD into this user, uh, M-A-G-N-U-S, LS. Okay, there's a user, cat user.txt. There we go. So we got the first user flag right here. Let's go ahead and copy that throw it into our submit and voila, here we go. Okay, so now what is root? All right, so let's just do sudo dash L, see what we're working with. And so it looks like we may be able to run these commands. So if I just do, let's copy that. What if I just do sudo that path? Ooh. Okay, I, I think I see what's up. All right, so what we're gonna be looking for is a privask. So give me one second. I do have the privask um, for this. I'm gonna show you guys right here. Let me come back over here. And I think, I, oh, I actually have it saved. All right, so right here is sudo fail to ban, right? So the fail to ban client is what we're working with here right, as you can see here, fail to ban. All right, so let's come back to here. And you can see that this is the output when we do, you know, to do the investigation, you do sudo dash L. And then now let's try to go ahead and do the exploit. So we can go ahead and copy this and see what we get here. All right, okay, I see. So the status is number of jail eight, the jail list, AST dot or dash CLI dash attack. So we can just try to give this first one a jingle. So what we're gonna do is come back here. Let's come back to the website. So what we're gonna do is choose one of the jails from the jail list in the output. So we have this one here, uh, which is AST. So we're just, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the command here. And we're just gonna change the um, jail to the one that we are going to use. So right there, and you guys can see it right here. Just wanna make sure, get, and this is the one that we're gonna use. And hit enter here. Okay, so, okay, IP tables allowed. Okay, cool deal. And now let's go for the next one, see if this works. All right, we're gonna set, now we're just gonna do set evil. So let's do that one. And we're gonna come back here and paste it here. We're just gonna go down the list of what to do. Okay, the next one here is going to be, let me just copy it from my notes. And then same, same thing, right? Same thing we're gonna do here is paste that here. Okay. 
All right, so let's see the last one. So in the last one we're gonna do is a ban IP. We're gonna do any IP, one, two, three, five. And let's go ahead and do that. Let's copy that. And go ahead and paste it here and hit enter. All right, so we have an output of one. So next one, if we just do bin bash dash P, technically we are going to be root, right? Who am I? We are root. This is awesome. So now I can just cat, let me make this bigger, cat root, what root, if I can spell root slash root dot txt. Sweet, we did it. So let me copy that. That wasn't too bad. And let's come back here and enter and voila. We just earned 60 points. So hopefully you found this informative, this walkthrough. This was a pretty cool, pretty cool machine. It was different. I haven't done it, so we did it together today. Thank you so much for viewing, and I will see you in the next one.